Hi, welcome to another video in the Getting to Know Your Smart Board with IQ series. In this video, we'll learn about the Whiteboard app, its library, and settings. All this information in the video can be found on Smart's support site at support.smarttech.com. The Whiteboard app is a great way to collaborate during a meeting. I'm going to point out some features that are specific to the IQ Whiteboard. Use the QR code to connect your SmartCap mobile app to the display. Once you've connected your SmartCap app, invite people to view your session. Another great feature is continuing a previous session. From the phone, select the session you want to continue. Swipe right on the session and press continue. Then scan the QR code on the display and the notes will appear on the display. Even if you haven't connected a mobile device to the display, the display saves your notes. You can start a new whiteboard session at any time. Press the Add Whiteboard button. You can choose to save the whiteboard to the library, discard and not save the whiteboard, or cancel. Your sessions are saved in the library. You can retrieve them at any time. Press the Library button. Select the session you want to continue. You can also delete sessions if you like. There are settings for the whiteboard that you can change. Open up Settings and scroll to Applications. Under Smart IQ Whiteboard, you can enable or disable the library. As well, you can set how long the library saves your sessions. The other options deal with the mobile app. If you disable saving whiteboards, you won't be able to connect the SmartCap app to the display and you can't save snapshots with the app. If you disable sharing whiteboards, you will be able to connect your SmartCap app to the display, but you won't be able to invite people to your session. For more information, see support.smarttech.com.